What kind of music is the B minor partita? What does it say and express, and why? Well, one thing I've found is that the answers to these questions are revealed less easily with this piece than with most. It seems to me one of the more elusive pieces that Bach wrote, containing many closely guarded secrets, and particularly when still unfamiliar, makes tough demands on the ear. But there are a few clues in the fabric of the music which give us a sense of what it's all about. Firstly, it's harmonically very dense, which means the ear is often led apace from one tonality to another, giving the music a strong sense of movement. But rather than travel along trodden pathways of closely related keys, which give the ear a sense of rootedness, of home-boundedness, the strange and unexpected twists and turns of the harmony in this piece convey a sense of journeying into the unknown and of searching. Another element which presents a challenge to both listener and player, and gives the piece what I think is a distinctly otherworldly quality, is that throughout there is little discernible melody, or what we might think of as tunes. More often than not, melodies appear broken up and embedded in lines that cover the entire range of the violin, often making sudden and vast leaps in register. It's as though the music is actually a translation of something much greater than this mere four-stringed and traditionally melodic instrument is suited to play. One challenge for the performer is to untangle this magical polyphony and lend it clarity as concurrent interwoven lines rather than a jumble of seemingly capricious voice leading. We need to play as though with ten fingers on the keyboard rather than just four on the strings. But if this music is otherworldly, to what extent is it also human? Well, it's always struck me that the opening Alamand has the quality of an oration. It's no doubt lyrical, but there's a story being told here, and the listener might even identify with a would-be protagonist. Who might it be? Well, I'm not sure it's necessary to know specifically, but it's certainly helpful to think of what sort of qualities this person has. Somebody with a rich imagination, a deep wisdom, but also a sense for the unknown, even a reverence for it and a will to explore it. I use the word unknown, but the unknown could equally represent the divine, and might more accurately do so if we consider Bach's lifelong dedication to the church. Another clue that brings us closer to what this music is doing lies in its structure. The B minor partita is unique amongst the combined 12 works that Bach wrote for solo violin and solo cello, in that each movement is followed by another that repeats its harmonic journey. What's the significance of these twin movements? In each case, the pair, or double as they're titled, has a very different rhythmic feel, but significantly, each double is an unending stream of the same note values, a deeper journey into abstraction, where phrases, breathing points, and punctuation are embedded even more deeply in the text. It's as though our protagonist's curiosity is not satisfied, and the richness of the original content lends itself to this further exploration. I feel like the doubles can be understood not so much as improvisation on the preceding movements, but as a distilled, pure, meditative realisation, one step further from this world and towards the next. The B minor partita is certainly a piece with many layers to it, some of which I've found are revealed only in performance when it's delivered as a single expressive and communicative gesture. It's a piece that draws the listener into a realm where contrasts are stark and flashes of knowing and unknowing can appear from one note to the next. Even if we consider a protagonist's narrative, it's not what we might think of as a literal one with characters in a plot. Rather, it's a story of exploration into the unknown. It's a story of ideas and feelings, of light and dark, of mystery and understanding. Well, at least that's what I read into it. I felt drawn to this piece because of its complexity and emotive power. I wanted to delve into its mystery and discover these secrets. Such is its depth, I'll no doubt continue to make discoveries. It's somehow timeless when experienced as a single flow, but there is also a sense of journeying through time and space, perhaps never quite on a path in this world or the next, but from a vantage point between them. 
Where we end up at its close? Well, that's for the performer to try to convey and for the listener to experience on their own terms. I can't help thinking of the last scenes in Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. We each read into it something personal, and like so much great artwork, it allows us the imaginative space to do so. The B minor partita is no doubt challenging, but ultimately richly rewarding in its depth and scope. That we still play this music after 300 years, find ourselves reflected in it and guided by it, is testament to its natural force. <laughs>